You enter this world knowing you are loved and you leave this world knowing the same, then everything that happens in between can be dealt with. In a world filled with hate, we must still dare to hope. In a world filled with anger, we must still dare to comfort. In a world filled with despair, we must still dare to dream. And in a world filled with distrust, we must still dare to believe. Lies run sprints, but the truth runs marathons. We have to heal our wounded world. The chaos, despair, and senseless destruction we see today are a result of the alienation that people feel from each other and their environment. When they say the sky's the limit to me that's really true. I'm starting with the man in the mirror. I'm asking him to change his ways. And no message could have been any clearer. If you want to make the world a better place, take a look at yourself, and then make a change. Consciousness expresses itself through creation. This world we live in is the dance of the Creator. Dancers come and go in the twinkling of an eye but the dance lives on. On many an occasion when I am dancing, I have felt touched by something sacred. In those moments, I felt my spirit soar and become one with everything that exists. I become the stars and the moon. I become the lover and the beloved. I become the victor and the vanquished. I become the master and the slave. I become the singer and the song. I become the knower and the known. I keep on dancing then it is the eternal. Dance or creation. The creator and creation merge into one wholeness of joy. I keep on dancing, and dancing, and dancing. Until there is only, the dance. When I step out on stage in front of thousands of people, I don't feel that I'm being brave. It can take much more courage to express true feelings to one person. In spite of the risks, the courage to be honest and intimate opens the way to self-discovery. It offers what we all want, the promise of love. And that's what innocence is. It's simple and trusting like a child, not judgmental and committed to one narrow point of view. If you are locked into a pattern of thinking and responding, your creativity gets blocked. You miss the freshness and magic of the moment. Learn to be innocent again, and that freshness never fades. I'm really very self-confident when it comes to my work. When I take on a project, I believe in it 100%. I really put my soul into it. I die for it. That's how I am. Each song is a child I nourish and give my love to. But even if you have never written a song, your life is a song. How can it not be? People ask me how I make music. I tell them I just step into it. It's like stepping into a river and joining the flow. Every moment in the river has its song. Hope is such a beautiful word, but it often seems very fragile. Life is still being needlessly hurt and destroyed. To give someone a piece of your heart, is worth more than all the wealth in the world.